Perseverance rover may be the first machine on Mars that will have a functioning microphone on board, and in October it turned it on while zooming through space. What did it hear? How will be the microphone used on Mars? Let's find out! Welcome to Mars Report by Vernum. Perseverance is currently in interplanetary space en route to Mars. Nonetheless, the team at NASA is busy at work preparing for landing and testing equipment. Last week, they released an audio recording captured using onboard ETL microphone. Here is a short segment. There is not much going on in the vacuum of space. The sounds are coming from the rover, specifically from the heat rejection fluid pump. This pump is responsible for keeping the electronics at operating temperature. It distributes the heat generated by the radioisotope thermoelectric generator across the rover using a network of pipes filled with liquid. The heat from the radioactive decay is primarily used to generate electricity, but part of it is keeping the rover from freezing. This is very similar to a central water heating system that might be in your building, with the exception of needing plutonium-238 and flying through the vacuum of space. Another cool thing about these sounds is the way we hear them. On Earth, sounds travel through air, which is mostly missing in space. Instead, the sounds are being conducted through the rover itself as a mechanical vibration, and this is what the microphone picked up. Most missions forgo including a microphone, as they are not expected to bring in a lot of hard science, yet take up space and add to the list of things the team needs to worry about. Nonetheless, this time, two microphones are flying to the red planet. The one we were able to hear is supposed to record entry, descent and landing sequence. The other is paired with a laser called SuperCam that is supposed to vaporize rock samples on Mars to find out what they are made of. Scientists are calling it laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy. Let's hope that the Martians won't call it an invasion. The paired microphone will be used to record the sounds whenever the laser hits something. What we hear can tell us about the properties of the rock, since the sound changes depending on the material. Of course, the microphones can be turned on to listen to the Martian wind, dust storms and possibly meteorite impacts and other rare sounds that Mars might be hiding. If you can't wait and want to try out some Martian wind sounds for sleep or meditation, you can check the ones recorded by InSight. These were synthesized using data from onboard seismometer, which picked up vibrations of solar panels being rattled by the wind. That's gonna be it for today's update. If you want to learn more about the experiments aboard InSight or Perseverance, check out these videos.